Welcome back. Breast cancer awareness got a huge boost this week when actress Angelina Jolie announced she had a double mastectomy as a preventative measure because she was at high risk for breast cancer. Joining us today is Dr. Ruthie Harper. She's an internist in Austin and accomplished in genetic research. And thank you so much for being here today. My pleasure. Um, talking about Angelina Jolie, it was genetic testing that alerted her to her risk. 87% in fact uh, of getting breast cancer. Um, talk about the procedure a little bit. How accurate is it? Um, mm -hmm. And how much do you recommend it? So what she had is called BRCA testing or BRCA testing. Okay. Um, and what it's actually looking at is this tumor suppression gene that's responsible for um, holding cancers at bay in our body and preventing them from occurring. Mm -hmm. And so most people don't realize that all of us are forming cancer cells on a daily basis and our body does this natural amazing process of controlling those cancer genes. Um, otherwise we'd all be at high risk and be in trouble. Mm -hmm. But when people have this BRCA mutation their body is not able to actually do that work of cancer suppression and that's indeed what they found with her that put her at risk. And and that's what the genetic testing um, looks at yes. is that uh, gene mutation. Yes. And so th when she had her double mastectomy it took her down from an 87 percent risk to a five percent. Yes. In incredible. Yes. Yes. Um, what are some other risk factors? Because I know she had some family history with the with the disease. Right. Well, I mean, there's many risk factors that go into the determination of what is what is a person's risk factor for developing um, breast cancer or other cancers over their lifetime. You know, and certainly um, she had a history of you know um, a mother that had both both breast and ovarian cancer, younger than 50. Um, any person that has uh, breast cancer that is um, detected under the age of 50, that's of concern and puts you at high risk. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have three family members that have had breast cancer, um, or if you've had two family members with breast cancer, one under, under the age of 50, yeah. you really want to be concerned and be, um, you know, more cognizant of the fact that maybe you should get the BRCA testing. When you have a high-profile celebrity like Angelina Jolie go through this process, what does that do for the general public that might be concerned? I think it really raises the awareness of how important genetics are to our health, um, you know, cancer prevention included, mm -hmm. and we're really moving into this age of personalized medicine where you know in addition to having all the technology and, and information we've had um, all these years in medicine now when we layer on this personalized piece of being able to look into people's genetics and determine what they're at risk for um, what interventions may help them what kind of mm -hmm. medications they'll respond to um, it really becomes significant is this genetic test for everyone are there other methods of discovering your risk factors yeah so we know that this exists in about 10 percent of the population. So the general thinking is that the risk is so low that it probably is not right for the general population unless you fall into one of those high risk categories. Mm -hmm. And certainly there are other um, preventative things that are much less expensive. The genetic testing itself runs about $4,000. So there's things such as measuring vitamin D levels. Um, in my practice we look at how people metabolize estrogen to see if they mm -hmm. form healthy or unfor uh, healthy forms of estrogen. Mm -hmm. That can be done. And then basic risk factors for breast cancer prevention, meaning maintaining your ideal weight, um, exercising on a daily basis. For women, only consuming one alcoholic drink per day. I mean, mm -hmm. there's many things that play into this cancer risk. Interesting. Uh, and Angelina Jolie being hailed as heroic uh, now for her, um, you know, taking steps to prevent breast cancer by doing this and not being afraid about, to announce it. Well, certainly such a high profile star, you know, being willing to take the most aggressive step towards breast cancer prevention with her particular profile and being open about it. Um, yes, that is heroic. Dr. Ruthie Harper joining us today. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. All right.